So I'm down here with all my Pez. This is where we're starting the video today because I want to do a video about Pop Pez. And I just thought if I walk over here and show you my display of my Pop Pez and we'll grab the couple that we're gonna be talking about today. I thought that would be kind of fun. So here's all my Pop Pez, or most of them at least. Not all of them are down here, but a good majority of them are. And I want to do a video about the Disney villains, Pop Pez. Oh, there they are. So let me get them out of here. We'll take them up to the studio and I'll give you a better look at them and tell you more about them because I think it'll make a really good video. So let's get started. I've gathered them off the wall. It's pretty easy to get them out of those uh, shadow boxes. You just have to be careful with them, but it's not too hard. So let's take them up to the studio. Because I haven't done a Funko Pop Pez video in quite some time, and since I like the Princess Pez, and we've been getting a lot of new updates to the Princess Pez lately, but for some reason Pez never made the villains. But luckily when Funko and Pez collaborated, what, a couple years ago now, we got the Disney villain Pez, which I think are really fun. So these were all released back in 2019. The first Disney Princess Pez I want to share with you today is Ursula, and you might know Ursula from the Little Mermaid movie. Yes, she might look really nice and has a big smile on her face, but that's not a friendly smile because <laughs> she's a villain. These always look so much better once you take them out of the box because you can actually see the details like all around their head. But I just hate having them outside their box. I like them in the box to display them. So here you go. Take a closer look at the Ursula Funko Pop Pez. The head is mainly purple except for the hair. It's like a light gray and white. And then the stem is a really nice purple color. It just looks so great. So there you go, the first one is Ursula. The next Disney villain Pop Pez I want to share with you is Maleficent. And you know her as the villain from Sleeping Beauty. Spooky spooky. And this one totally looks way cooler outside the box because you can't even see the details on her head until you take them out. I mean, I said that about this one, but this one really has some really cool details. So let me show you. So check out Maleficent outside the box. And see how she has like these giant like horn things on the back of her head, which I told you she's way cooler outside of the box. And her head is like a light teal color. It's mostly black with some purple accents. And the stem is a really like matchy black as well. So this one just looks so good. And I do keep this one outside the box. So I actually bought two of these. <laughs> Uh, with my pop pets, I used to have them always stored away in bins, so every once in a while I would end up buying another one, but these are pretty easy to find. I mean, five or six bucks, you can find these, so I didn't mind having doubles. So I keep her on my shelf just because she's so cool. The next Disney villain Funko Pop Pez I want to share with you is Evil Queen. And you might know Evil Queen from being the villain in Snow White. And yes, there's a crown up there on top of her head that you can't hardly even see inside the box. So let's open this up. And if you want to open up your Pop Pez, I usually just get a knife and if you slide it in here and you just pry it up slow, you don't have any issues with the box tearing, or at least I never do. You just have to take it easy on them and you should be able to open these up and then put the Pez back in and no one will even ever know. But I don't plan on selling these anytime soon or anything, so. <laughs> oh, look at that crown. This is like the Freddy Funko I just got from the WonderCon. I probably should make a video showing that soon. And inside these Pop Pez boxes, it comes with the assorted flavor Pez candy pack. And if your Pop Pez comes with candy, which not all of them do, most of them do, it's gonna be one of these candy packs. So if you ever were to open these and you eat the candy or you throw the candy away and you go try to you know, put some more candy in there later to sell them, it's going to be kind of hard to get these because these are retired wrappers now. So if you do like take these out of the box and you keep the boxes, you're going to want to keep the candy too. And those candies should last. It's the Pez USA candy so it shouldn't melt on you or anything. So it should be fine if you put it in a box. As long as you don't have like too much humidity in your house, it should be fine. At least I never have problems with like the USA candy. It just stays rock hard forever. <laughs> I don't want to know what's in them that it never 
you know, turns bad, but it, it really never does. <laughs> so here's the evil queen outside of her box. Check out that sweet crown. Is it a tiara or a crown? I guess queens wear crowns, right? <laughs> but this evil queen pest dispenser, her head is mostly black and then the color of her skin on her face is like a light tan color. And then her crown is a really bright yellow. And her stem is the same purple color as Ursula's stem. So that's kind of weird that they both have the same purple, but it looks really great. She also has like purple eyeliner. <laughs> Ursula has like a bluish teal eyeliner and Maleficent has like a light blue, light purple color eyeliner. You gotta get that makeup on if you're a Disney villain. <laughs> The last Disney villain pop pez I have is Corella DeVille and she's the villain from 101 Dalmatians and yikes she's a scary villain. <laughs> uh, but this pez is actually really really cool. So here you go take a closer look at Corella DeVille outside of her box and I say she's really cool because the hair has a lot of texture. Half of her hair is black, half of her hair is white and She's on a really bright white stem. It just looks so great. I love the colors on this. And of course she's wearing like a really, really light, light green eyeshadow. <laughs> just looks so good. The head on this one is pretty large because her hair sticks out a lot. If you are new to Funko Pop Pez, there are the exact same Pez dispenser stems as a regular pest dispenser. The plastic is the same, at least I think it is. Seems the same to me. It all works the same as a Pez. The only difference is that the heads are like a little bit larger than a regular pest dispenser usually is. That's only made by Pez. And they have the Funko look to them. So if you were to buy a Funko Pop and you buy like the Ursula Funko Pop, the head on that is probably like the exact same as this one. At least that's how usually they are. So if they do have a Funko Pop, that coincides with these pop pez. The heads are usually like pretty much the same, I think. At least the ones I've seen. I've never like studied all of them, but the ones I've noticed, they're all usually the same as the Funko Pops. Not the Funko Pop Pez, but the Funko Pops. So these are cool. I thought it would be really fun to make these because the Disney Princess Pez are pretty popular and they keep updating the Princess Pez. And I will be getting the new Ariel Princess Pest here in the mail probably this week. So look forward to me unboxing that here on the live stream on Saturday at 10 a.m. Central. We have the Peasant Coffee live stream. My husband Greg joins me, which is so much fun because that's the time we get to unbox all the Pez packages that come in throughout the week. So I have to wait till Saturday to open them. But it's so much fun to unbox them with you guys, you know, on the live with us because it's just more fun that way. <laughs> because we can share our pez with you. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you want to help support my channel, you can buy me a coffee. I do have a link down below in the description for that and to buy some merch and to buy some pez art. And that's it. <laughs> if you do like seeing Fungo Pop Pez here on the channel, let me know in the comments below. I have so many. I can make Fungo Pop Pez videos for days, but I just think it's fun here and there to pop them in. <laughs> so as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you Thursday. Bye.